Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sparkle English where I teach you how to improve your level of English. In today's lesson, I'm going to talk to you about tag questions and teach you how to punctuate tag questions correctly with commas. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to Sparkle English for more lessons like this one. So first of all, what are tag questions? A tag question is a statement followed by a question. Tag questions are often used to confirm information or seek agreement. To form a tag question, you start with a declarative statement and then add a tag that turns the statement into a question. The tag is usually an auxiliary verb and a pronoun. For example, he is intelligent. This is a statement. However, if we add isn't he at the end, now we have a tag question. He is intelligent, isn't he? In this case, we add isn't he because we want agreement. I think he's intelligent. Do you think he's intelligent? I want you to agree with me. We also use tag questions to confirm information. For example, you're a doctor. This is a statement. If I say you're a doctor, I'm quite certain that you are a doctor. But what if I'm not quite sure? You're a doctor, aren't you? In this case, I want to confirm information. I'm pretty sure you're a doctor. I just want you to confirm that you're a doctor. So how do we form tag questions? Well, the formula for making a tag question is we have a declarative statement plus the auxiliary verb plus a pronoun. So the auxiliary verb and pronoun in the tag question should match the subject of the declarative statement in terms of tense and number. So what that means, for example, Donald lives in Paris, doesn't he? Here we have Donald is the subject, and so we have to say doesn't he at the end, not doesn't she, because Donald is a he. And we also don't say Donald lives in Paris, don't he, because we use doesn't with he. Joe and Dan speak French, don't they? In this example, we use the pronoun they because we have Joe and Dan. There is more than one person, so we use they. And don't goes with they, not doesn't. So why are tag questions often formed using the negative form of the auxiliary verb? Tag questions are often formed using the negative form of the auxiliary verb to make a statement into a question. And this is because the purpose of a tag question is to confirm or seek agreement with the statement being made. And by using the negative form of the auxiliary verb, it creates a sense of uncertainty or doubt. So if I say, we are going to the cinema on Saturday, that is a declarative sentence. This statement is factual. That is what is happening on Saturday. We are going to the cinema. However, if we make this into a tag question, we are going to the cinema on Saturday, aren't we? Having the auxiliary verb in the negative form creates that sense of certainty or doubt because it contrasts this statement. Now, let's say you don't think you're going on Saturday. You could also write this tag question as, we aren't going to the cinema on Saturday, are we? So how do you punctuate tag questions? Well, a tag question is usually separated from the statement by a comma and begins with a lowercase letter. You can drive, can't you? You see here that we separate the statement from the tag question. You can drive, comma, can't you? And we have a lowercase letter after the comma. Sarah is a lawyer, comma, isn't she? They play golf on the weekends, comma, don't they? Let's look at some more tag question examples. She's studying for her exams, isn't she? He's coming to the party, isn't he? They're going on a trip next week, aren't they? It's going to rain today, isn't it? Lauren is watching TV, isn't she? 
You live alone, don't you? The concert was amazing, wasn't it? Okay, now it's time to do a quiz. You have to add commas to the following sentences. We have 10 different sentences and you need to add commas before the tag questions. Number one, you're feeling better today, aren't you? Number two, they're planning to go on a trip next week, aren't they? Number three, you've been to Paris before, haven't you? Number four, the wedding was beautiful, wasn't it? Number five, he's going to run the marathon next month, isn't he? Number six, you like to read in your free time, don't you? Number seven, they're going to buy a new car, aren't they? Number eight, the food was delicious, wasn't it? Number nine, you've never skydived before, have you? And finally, number 10, she's going to study abroad next semester, isn't she? Okay, so let's correct these. Now this is quite simple. You're just adding it after the declarative sentence. So you're feeling better today, comma, aren't you? And of course, for all of these, after the comma, there is a space before the next word. Number two, we have a comma after week, aren't they? You've been to Paris before, comma, haven't you? Number four, the wedding was beautiful, comma, wasn't it? Number five, he's going to run the marathon next month, comma, isn't he? Number six, you like to read in your free time, comma, don't you? Number seven, they're going to buy a new car, comma, aren't they? Number eight, the food was delicious, comma, wasn't it? Number nine, you've never skydived before, comma, have you? And finally, number 10, she's going to study abroad next semester, comma, isn't she? Okay, so let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of 10. And if you want more lessons on tag questions and how to form tag questions in different tenses, let me know in the comment section below as well. And if you want to improve your level of English and improve your punctuation skills, make sure to order my 50 plus page ebook on 16 basic punctuation rules in English. I teach you how to use commas, quotation marks, colons, semicolons, periods, and more. The ebook also includes worksheets so you can practice what you've learned. You can click on the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to order my ebook. Make sure to watch my full series on English writing essentials to master punctuation. Like this video if you found it helpful and I will see you in my next lesson.